day 49. Um, tried to wake up early. I got up at 4.30 and got going by 5.17. Um, there was a climb right away, so I want to at least get that done. It's, I really want to try to wake up early, but earlier, but it's hard. Um, the fire station we were at, um, there was a lot of morning commute traffic started going through and there was a big flood light last night, like all the time, so it was hard to um, get some good sleep, but I put in layer plugs, put a sleeping pill, and I think I slept okay. Um, it was nice and warm this morning. I didn't have gloves on during the night. And, minimal layer so it was easy to kind of get up and get going because it wasn't at least too cold um my ankle feels okay for now but that's expected it'll probably start hurting later um, we're only doing 10 so i wanted to try to get at least half of it done before it gets hot and then um i think there's water at eight and then we're gonna dry camp try to figure out the water from there um, so everybody should be coming up except for Footsack. Um, I don't know if she even knows what she's going to do. I think go back into Green Valley and try to arrange um, a place to stay. Or maybe there's another guy with a dog that was camping near us that said he's trying to get off for a bit and go to Hiker Town. So she might hitchhike with him. So we'll see what happens. Um, right now, waiting for trampoline and maybe have some breakfast up here. Peace. I love when the trail this is very deserty. And then you come into this little section with oaks and green and it's beautiful. It lasts very short. Beef for time. Very brief time and short. It's some of my favorite spots. Up, 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 and it's freaking hot. So day 49 recap, um, we did about 11.5 today. Um, I forgot what I filmed earlier, but again, we woke up um, pretty early, 4.30. We got on the road about 5.15. Um, it helped immensely. It was nice. We had a climb right away, so um, definitely was kept cool on that. Um, I think we did like 2,700 feet, so it was actually a big climbing day today. Um, and then of course it got hot, but uh, we made ourselves close to a road. I think it was San Francisco Kita Canyon. Sorry, it's windy. That's why I'm inside. It's not going to sound very good. It might not sound very good now. Um, there was uh, we got to a wash, and then um, I looked to my left, and in the wash, literally in the wash, was a black chair. If that's not an oasis to go sit and take a break, I don't know what it is. So there was a nice stream um, in the wash and um, a chair. So pitched the chair next to the stream, put our feet in the water, and then uh, proceeded to have a nice break. And the funny thing is uh, CJ and Beacon came around um, after we were there for like 30, 40 minutes and um, they were saying hello to us and Beacon just kept walking down the wash, like completely opposite direction of anything and opposite direction of the trail. And we're like, where's he going? And even CJ was like, I have no idea what he's doing. And he went a pretty good distance. And all of a sudden we're like, we don't know what he's doing. And he comes around a tree and he's coming back towards us with another chair. So I guess he remembered there was more chairs from last 
year. So um, we were packing up when they were coming in. So CJ and Beacon had their own, both own chairs and they took a break and put their feet in the stream and relax there for a bit. Um, after that, it was pretty hot and we had another big climb um, to a spring and then um, it was really bad. Like I got there, I was pretty exhausted um, just from the heat because there was no wind for some reason. And then um, I washed my shirt um, yesterday and it was still damp. So I decided to put it back on. And then uh, when I got to that spring, as we were climbing, um, I doused it in the spring water, which was freezing, and then proceeded to do the rest of the day. It actually worked out pretty good. Um, it kept me pretty cool, but then also when we get to this top of this mountain or saddle, whatever it is, then the wind is going crazy and it's like 20 degrees cooler. So I'm not sure what this came from. We've actually been in our tents with our sleeping bags and jackets on because it's been pretty chilly with the wind but it's been a nice break so I don't care um, so all in all we got here um, since we left early it was pretty early in day like 1 1 30 we just been lounging around stretching and relaxing and then everybody filtered in we're all camped out here today um, tomorrow we're gonna do a really short day I think just eight um, we're trying to pick sites uh, that are better campsites with water. Um, we don't have any water right now, and, and not terribly low, but don't have, rather have more to drink. So we might do an eight tomorrow, and then a 10 and a 10 to get into Hiker Town. And with the camping and tent sites, it works out better, and then we can actually take it easy tomorrow. It's probably gonna be hot again, but whatever. We're not gonna wake up early. We're just gonna we figure if we wake up early, we're gonna get there like, 10 o'clock and be done with the day so i'm gonna wake up regular time and we'll just chill tomorrow and we'll have a nice big campsite and it'll be nice and then like i said we'll hike her down in a couple of days um foot hurt a little bit towards the end of the day um not too much during the beginning so still trying to take it easy on that and um i think that's about it uh, foot sacks trying to meet us in hiker town in a couple of days and we'll kind of go from there um, that's about it. Had a good dinner today. Had a mountain house fettuccine with uh, chicken. Not as good as a peak refill, but pretty good. I was looking forward to that. Um, and well, that's it. I'll peace out from here and sign off. Late.